Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School senior, David Hogg is now urging students to boycott the Sunshine State for spring break until lawmakers pass common sense gun control legislation. The Florida teen has put himself front and center of the gun control debate after surviving the Parkland school massacre that left 17 students and teachers dead. Hogg sent a tweet with his boycott message urging those teens and college students to take their kegs and beach volleyball elsewhere, stating, let's make a deal do not come to Florida for spring break unless gun legislation is passed. These politicians sick want to listen to us so maybe they'll sick listen to the billion-dollar tourism industry NFL. Never again Hogg considers himself a student filmmaker and his Twitter profile identifies himself as a Never again activist, Sun Sentinel Teen Link reporter, student filmmaker, entrepreneur, surfer and part-time dreamer and terrible speller. Interestingly enough, Hogg never saw bullets flying, nor did he truly see any of the truly horrific events that occurred on Valentine's Day. While many classmates and teachers were face-to-face -face with shooter Nicholas Cruz, Hogg was hiding in a closet with his phone by his own admission. He said he was in his environmental science class when he heard the first gunshots and claims the school had never had an active shooter drill. He told CNN during an interview of his whereabouts during the shooting, he describes how he pulled out his phone and began interviewing people near him about what was happening. What 17-year-old kid do you know who is going to interview other students while bullets are raining down at them? Hogg stated during his interview with CNN, I want to show these people exactly what's going on when these children are facing bullets flying through classrooms and students are dying trying to get an education. Hogg is the current leftist poster child. His father, Kevin Hogg, is a retired FBI agent. Kevin retired in 2014 and moved his family to Florida from California due to a diagnosis of early onset Parkinson's disease. During the interview with CNN, Hogg made a point to defend the currently scandal ridden FBI and to blame President Donald Trump. It was later revealed that his father was a retired agent. After it was revealed that Hogg's father was a retired employee of the Bureau, he stated his disdain for President Donald Trump again, blaming the president for the current turmoil being uncovered at all levels of the FBI. He stated, I think it's disgusting, personally. My father's a retired FBI agent and the FBI are some of the hardest working individuals I have ever seen in my life. It's wrong that the president is blaming them for this. Some have even speculated Hogg's near-constant media presence since the Parkland Valentine's Day massacre is an attempt to prop up the FBI after the FBI failed to follow up on a tip about Nicholas Cruz's plans for a school shooting. He has also been an outspoken critic of the NRA and a staunch advocate for gun control. Hogg's mother is Rebecca Boldrick and she works as a teacher at Norcrest Elementary School. She has also been particularly outspoken online against President Trump ever since the 2016 presidential election. In a January 30th post on Facebook from 2017, Boldrick stated, I can't be silent anymore. I tried to be respectful during the elections. I can't sit by and do nothing with what is going on currently in the USA. It's horrifying. If you like what Trump is currently doing please unfriendly or block me because you want like what I am going to begin posting. And no one seems to have caught on to any of this while Hogg is being paraded around as the poster child for gun control by leftists everywhere, or while he encourages spring break travelers and revelers to take their money elsewhere to the detriment of businesses, jobs, and communities dependent upon the tourism business, even going so far as to advocate that students spend their spring break in Puerto Rico instead, a place ravaged by a hurricane that may not be able to accommodate them and may not be safe to go. He tweets, better idea, spend your spring break in Puerto Rico, it's a beautiful place with amazing people. They could really use the economic support that the government has failed to provide. Spring break 2018 sub in Puerto Rico it's spelled Puerto Rico great idea David, I roll perhaps your puny brain did not quite think that through it seems little David might be in for a healthy disappointment though as given the popularity of the Fort Lauderdale area as a spring break destination it is unlikely many will listen to him, Fort Lauderdale is 29 minutes by car from Parkland via I-95 North per Google Maps and is considered one of the top 10 spring break destinations for teens and college students. Hogg family will suffer many disappointments in life but Donald Trump is still their president, the R-15 is still legal, Americans still have the ability and they want to protect themselves with firearms, and the likelihood of a 17-year-old brainwashed child getting spring break cancelled because he just found out the world is a terrible place is slim to none. HT New York Post Follow us on Facebook. From the web powered by Zergnet Navy SEAL who killed Bin Laden tossed off plain the truth about the Obama sisters' awkward Olympics wardrobe malfunctions you can't done see the disappointing double life of Tim Tebow what really happened to Mike Holmes' six toys from the 90s that are worth way more than you think.